So should you be using social media for your construction company? Well, the simple answer is yes. If you're not on social media, you're really missing a trick. And in this video, I'm just going to really show you the reasons why you should be using social media as a business. What platforms should you think about being on and how can you get the most out of your social media channels? Now, a lot of people, some people detest social media altogether. You know, they can't stand Facebook and Instagram. They just don't like the whole uh, setup of social media and how it all works. And that's understandable, you know, each to their own. But at the same time, all your customers or the majority of your customers are going to be on social media. So even if you don't like social media, you really need to be where your customers are at. There's billions and billions of users on these social media profiles. So if you're not using them, you're really putting yourself at a bit of a disadvantage because your competitors will certainly be using these channels. So what social media platforms should you specifically be focusing on? Well, it really does depend on where your audience is. If you think about who your ideal client is, maybe your ideal client is an architect or a professional, then really your, your ideal social media channel might want to be LinkedIn because that's where the majority of professionals and architects will go and hang out. So you might think, right, let's make the most out of my LinkedIn profile and my LinkedIn channel. Maybe uh, you just want to target clients, though, uh, homeowners and family owners, things like that. Where will they be? Well, you might think, well, they're going to be on Instagram or they might be on Facebook. So you might go into those channels to target those. And then, of course, you've got Twitter to think about, too. Um, I've never had as much success with Twitter personally, but maybe that's that's the channel for you. You really need to test these things out and see where your audience is and where you're getting the most feedback from. So that's that's the channels. You need to think about what channels you use. But then you need to think about how do you get the most out of social media yourself? So one of the best ways to get the most out of social media is to really show your face because people buy from people, not just companies. They want to buy from people. So they want to know who they're dealing with and what are you like as a person? If they're going to employ your services, how are you as a boss and how are you as a company owner? So try and get your personality out there when you're um, when you're on social media. You know, put a bit of personality into your posts. A brilliant way of doing it is filming vlogs exactly like this. Put some video blogs out there, educating your clients, letting them know a bit about you. Uh, maybe you could potentially film around some of your sites and show people what you're up to and how you do certain things, what your quality is like. Um, little things like this, these are great ways of showing your personality so people can get to know you and, and build a bit of a rapport. So that's one thing you could do. And the other way to um, get the most out of social media is to really build up a, a load of content. And this is where really people struggle. Most people fall down at trying to build content because they just don't know what to, to put in on their content. So the best way around this is building up a content calendar and then commit to it. So you might think to yourself, right, I'm going to post on each social media channel or I'm going to post only on Facebook twice a week. And then you stick to that and you write in what content you're going to post um, for each of those days in the week. That can be really helpful. So maybe one day you're posting a testimonial. Maybe another day you're showing some pictures of a recent project. Another day could be an inside look at one of your sites. Another day it could be interviewing an employee or, or, or telling someone a little bit about your company. So there's lots of things you can do to um, lots of ideas to try and build up and generate content. And also, don't be afraid of repeating content and putting it out there a few times. You know, some people constantly trying to come up with new ideas. Um, but when you think about it, when you post content, you might only get a few people looking at it. You might only get 10, 20 people um, potentially looking at one of your posts. So post it again. You know, there's no, there's no reason to be afraid of keep reposting content out there, especially if it's good. The other thing you can do, too, to think about how you can generate more content is try and repurpose your content. So potentially, if you did a vlog, uh, a video um, vlog like I'm doing now, uh, that's great. That's one piece of content. Then you could turn that vlog into a blog. So you could actually uh, transcribe it and then put the, the post out as an actual blog that people can read rather than watching a video. And uh, then you could potentially turn it into a podcast if you wanted to um, and just have voice only. That could be three ways you could repurpose one piece of content. You could even then take all that content and put it into email format and email your client list with that content. So repurposing content is a great way of building up a mass of uh, content without having to try and think of fresh ideas all the time. 
So you might be thinking to yourself, do I really need to be on social media? Do I want to put in all this effort and uh, grow my, my social media following? Well, the simple answer is yes, you do. Um, if you're in business and you're relying on maybe recommendations to get your work, recommendations is only going to get you so far. Um, but when you put out on social media, you're just getting in front of a huge audience. You're really expanding your potential recommendation base. So get on social media, grow your following, post some decent content, and you'll be sure to be able to grow your business.